All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at are the results because I want you to know that what I'm about to teach you can actually work for you if you're willing to actually take the steps that I'm gonna lay out, all right? This is not one of those videos where you watch, they show you results from something completely different that they did and they position that as the reason why they made the money, right? Those type of videos just really annoy me and so I don't wanna be that type of channel, right? And that was never the goal for this channel. This channel is all about things that I actually do and I actually get results with and I bring you that and then you'll be able to implement that on your own and then analyze the results, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and get off that tangent. I wanna go ahead and get into these results. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, this is one of my income streams and you can see total in revenue, I've earned $2,863.98, which is pretty good. Now that's revenue. Now this particular company pays 15% commissions. And as you can see, based off that, that's $429.60. And then you can see what's being uh, approved as of now and what's going to be paid out to me now let's go to another income stream all right so this income stream right here you can see total i've earned 338 dollars and 80 cents and let's go to another income stream for this particular income stream right here i've earned 998 dollars and 92 cents and keep in mind all the results that i'm showing you they all came from the strategy you about to learn here in this video all right so now we're going to go ahead and move on to step number one Okay, so step number one is to create a money-making list, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I go about doing this, all right? All right, so first thing, when it comes to making a money-making list, what you wanna do is you wanna put what your product is, not the name of your product, okay? So what do I mean by that? So as you can see right here, what I did is I put product, and then I put what the product is. Notice I didn't put the name of the product, but do keep that in your mind so you know what that product offers because some video editors are different, okay? Well, or whatever product, that you have it's gonna be different than another competitor okay so just keep that in mind all right so now the next thing once I get the product now I'm gonna write down all the features of the product so a video editor falls under video editing right so that could be basically a feature or something that I can use because this is gonna be important for these next couple of steps that I'm gonna be laying out for you all right uh, also there's video podcasting now um, there's transcriptions when it comes to videos there's screen recording remote recording sub titles, all of these different things are revolved around that, right? And what I would recommend you do is really overstand your product. Like, like what is your product? And you should already really know the things that your product does because you're using it already. This is why I recommend like when you promoting something, make sure that you actually know what's going on in the background, right? So if people got questions, then they can ask you and you'll, you'll like shoot it right out because you already use the thing. All right. All right. So now we got our product features. Now we need to do another list all right so we're gonna go ahead and go down here and we're gonna go to money making list number two so now we're gonna take all of those features that we just had and we're gonna look at what problem is being solved for the consumer like what is that problem that that's being solved so let's let's take um, screen recording for example if a person is doing tutorials or they teaching people or doing some type of presentation or whatever it is that person needs a way to share their screen right especially if they're doing like you know zoom or they're doing any type any any of those type of things they need a way to share their screen so that's how screen recording solves their problem they need a screen recorder okay now let's look at um let's look at uh subtitles so when it comes to subtitles right they may want to add text on their screen well if they don't have an editor that allows them to do that then they can't do it right so all you're really doing is first money making list is you write down what the product is what the product is not the name and then you write down the features and then what you do from there is you then break it down to money making list number two which is you define what problems it solves all right so now we're gonna move on to step number two which is extremely important okay so with step number two we're gonna be doing a demand check so a demand check we're gonna be using a keyword research tool to do this because we need to see what is the data based on all of these features right so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go back over here and then I'm gonna copy all of these features and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste these over into this particular tool, which is called Google Keyword Planner. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna paste in here, boom. So there's all the features. Then I'm gonna hit get results. All right, so now you can see it says 2,914 of 2,915 keyword ideas. All right, so now I'm gonna hit the X on this and I'm gonna move myself up so you can see what's going on. All right, so we can see video editing. It has average monthly searches 10,000 to 100,000, right? So that's decent. 
We got podcasting, 1,000 to 10,000, transcription, 10,000 to 100,000, and so on and so on, right? It's showing us all the analytics from, you know, what's been happening over the last couple of months on average, right? Which is good data. So now we know what the features brings in. Now what we need to do is we need to go down here and see if we see other features that maybe we didn't put in there, but we know that the affiliate product that we promoting actually does. All right. So that's what you want to do. You want to go through here and see, okay, um, is this it? Is that it? Whatever it is right now, I want to show you how to individually take each feature and then start to craft out specific questions that people have. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to pretty much delete all of these in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put, so you see how it says remote recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a how in front of that, right? So you want to think about the main three words that start questions. So you got why, you got how, um, and then you got what, right? Those are the main three when we're talking about questions and you're trying to create some, you know, some powerful content, all right? So I'm gonna put how remote record. Now that might not make sense, but what's gonna happen when I do that is it's gonna associate how with remote record and it's gonna try to find everything it can. All right, so check this out. How to record a podcast remotely. That gets 100 to 1,000 searches per month. Now you wouldn't have been able to find that if you just put in just the one word by itself. You have to associate it with a word that starts with a question. All right. So how to record a podcast remotely. So if my affiliate product allows people to do that, then I show people exactly how to do that in the video. And then I insert the affiliate product that I'm promoting in that video. And now I just provided them value and they're more willing to go and use what it is that I recommended. Okay. So that's essentially what you're doing here. And you can go right back up here and then I'm going to change it out. Right. So I think one was uh, social clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put social clips and then we're gonna hit enter on that one. And let's see what pulls up for that one. Okay. So that one didn't work so much with social clips. So let's go back to what, what we got. So we got multi-track editing. All right. So let's go ahead and take multi-track editing and we're going to put that one up in there. So we're going to put multi-track editing and then we're going to say how to this time instead of how. All right. So let's hit get results. Look at this. How to export multi-track audition to MP3. How to record in multi-track. Now they're talking about Adobe Audition, but you want to find ones that are a lot more broad in this case. So that way you can like do like what I call a product insertion. So you provide value on the front end and then boom, you give them a, a, a solution to that question. And then now you can position your tool in there. All right. So let's look at this. So it says how to use multi-track. Okay. That, that's, that's product specific. So that one doesn't really have much, but I'm sure if I go back, let me look at another one. So let's do, okay. I think that one will work even better. So if I do how to, and I do video editing, let's just see what pops up. I got a spell, right? So if I put video editing and then I hit how, and then I go up in here and let's just see what pulls up. Okay. So look at this, how to edit videos on an iPhone. So you can show people if your, if your affiliate product, in this case, let's say I had a video editor that allowed me to use it on my phone. Then I can show people, this is how I do this on iPhone. Right. And then I recommend my product. So as you can see, like it, it's really simplified in what we are doing. We answering questions, right? So how to cut a video on my phone, how to use kind master, uh, how to edit on cap cut. So you really just filling in whatever it is that you have based on questions that people have. Have. And so this way it doesn't limit you by just going after the product name itself. The product name itself, I mean, that's cool. And that's something that I've done over the years. But for me, where I've seen like more success is when I position a video that's just answering somebody's question and then I insert whatever the product is that's going to be the solution to their problem. All right. So that, that has worked for me a whole lot better than just going straight for the product itself, because you're not going to really have that many people that just typing in that specific product. All right. So now we're going to move on to step number three. Okay. So step number three is to optimize your content. All right. So this part is very, very important. So make sure you're paying attention to what I'm doing. All right. So we had just did our research and we got the demand on certain questions that people have. So the question I ended up going with was how to change the aspect ratio of a video. So I know that the video editor that I'm going to be promoting, it allows them to do that in the click of a button. Right? So now what we want to do is we want to take that exact question and that exact question is going to become the title of our video. We're just going to really simplify this process. All right. So I'm going to go over to a tool called morning fame and I've been using this tool for years. Now what I do is I come in here, step number three, I click in here and I paste the keyword. All right. So now I'm going to click on this. 
all right then usually what i would do is i would analyze okay how would my channel actually do with this and so i look at these grades but i'm, I'm at a point where you know i'm very well versed when it comes to ranking my stuff so i can kind of get past this and still make things happen but if you're new uh, you want to look for the colors yellow and green. If you see at least two yellows and one green and it's associating it with your channel, then that usually means that you're good to go. But typically over here, when it comes to the relevance, you want to make sure that relevance is at least a B or an A. All right. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click choose for step number four. It says competition is too high, but for me, I usually just go past it anyway. OK, so continue to step four. All right. So now this is what we're going to optimize. All right. So first thing we said was the title of our video is going to be the exact question that they're searching for. Now, to make it a little bit more intriguing, what you might want to do is you might want to do parentheses quick and easy. OK, or fast and easy or something to make it stand out a little bit more. OK, when it comes to a description, we're going to simplify this. We're going to take this keyword right here and we're going to go over to chat GPT. All right. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to say, hey, chat GPT, write me an optimized YouTube description that targets this keyword. All right. And we're just going to paste the, the title that they looking for. And we're going to hit enter and we're going to let chat GPT do the work for us so we can actually save some time. All right. So it gave us a title, a description. Um, once it's finished doing this description, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, make things work. All right. So boom. So let's say it gave us this description right here. Um, I, I don't really like exactly how they did it and I, I would actually tailor it, but we just doing this just to show you how simple this process is. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that description in there and let's say that it wrote it to how we wanted it to actually sound. Uh, we will leave all of that in there. And then what we want to do is we'll go ahead and we'll paste our affiliate link right here. So I'm just going to put affiliate link right here. Uh, and I'm gonna put dash and I'm gonna put www.123.com. All right, so boom, we got our affiliate link on the third line. So now we position our description. All right, so next thing is we come down here and we wanna fill in relevant tags. All right, so I'll just walk you through how you would wanna do it. So I'm gonna remove with low scores, take this away. Now we got the main question that we're gonna be answering. And then I go here to suggestions and then I'm only looking at the most relevant ones. If it doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about, I ain't using that tag. All right. So I just I just like to keep everything simple. All right. So, for example, I'm not talking about an iPhone. So in my in this particular case, so I wouldn't worry about that one. I'm not talking about DaVinci Resolve or any one of those. I'm just going to keep it specific to that one. All right. So let me see if I can find another one. How to change the aspect ratio of a YouTube video. I might roll with that one. And notice these little percentages over here. The higher the percentage, the more relevant it is. OK, uh, let's see. Uh, this says online okay we can roll with that one let's go to use tags okay there we go change aspect ratio we got change video aspect ratio so hopefully you see what i'm doing we only looking for the most relevant tags so that way youtube can do the association that they need all right all right so at this point boom we got our title we got our description and we got our tags down here now another thing you could do right here it says associated hashtags so what we want to do is we'll go ahead and give ourselves some space hit show and then look at what they give us so aspect ratio is a hashtag content creators because that's who pretty much gonna need to do this change in video aspect ratio so let's say that those are the only three that we need and so at this point we're done with step number three so now we're gonna move on to step number four all right so now with this next step which is step number four what you want to do is you want to do content preparation now content preparation is where you actually start to work towards getting your video content done so the way that you want to do this is you want to write down the question on a piece of paper so go ahead and grab yourself a pen and a pad write it down or use google doc however you want to do it and then what you want to do is you want to write down the question up at the top of the piece of paper and then down below that you want to break down the steps it takes to actually get them to the solution that they're trying to do right so i'll give you a perfect example let's say i'm creating a video on how to do organic facebook marketing right so i know that it's a couple of things that they're gonna have to do so the first thing they would need to do is they will want to make sure that their profile is set up professionally so that when people actually come there boom they got that set up right but but then after that, once they set up their profile, they got to make sure that they actually have some friends, right? Because they don't need to doing that if they're not going to have friends. So now what they need to do is they need to actually go build a friends list by sending out friend requests. And then once those friends start coming in, 
then what? Now they got to have content so these people can actually engage and enjoy what they got going on. So you see how I'm, I'm, I'm literally taking people through the process. And so that's how you want to structure your video. Okay, so take people through the steps that they need to go through by writing it all out so you can visually see it, not scripting the whole video. We're not we're not really trying to do that. We just want to map out the things that they got to do so that way you know, and then that way your video can actually flow a lot smoother and you can actually give them the solution that they've been looking for. So hopefully you got some value from this video and if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to go deeper on the exact strategy I use to position my videos way higher so I can get the visibility and more sales go ahead and use that first link down below in the description that'll take you through a series i put together so that way you can go ahead and start implementing this stuff and getting the results you want and with that being said i look forward to seeing you in the next video peace